Hey folks, Nick Donatelli here from Love Do, and welcome back to the Houdini for MoGraph series. Today we're going to be going over how to make and simulate chains. You could also use this same setup to do any type of string, even hair. Uh, I'm just going to be taking that string setup and adding in some chain links. So let's just get into it. First off, we want to make a base for our chains to hang off of. So I'm going to make a circle and setting it to the ZX plane. Give it a radius of 1.7 in the X. And I'll just bring up the Y of about five. Now to add motion in the X axis, I'm gonna type sine dollar F times three and times three. And just a little back and forth. Now we'll do our point setup. So time shift, freeze at the start. Then drop a scatter node with just 40 points. Checking on the source attributes. And drop an attribute interpolate to get some mo the motion back. So we want the chains to face down. So make an attribute create for the N, changing it to vector and we're going to just do a value of 0, minus 1, and 0. Now do another attribute create and make an ID. Just type to integer and a value of app pt num. Last make an attribute randomize set to p scale, one dimension, and a range of 0.7 to 1.4. Now make a line facing down the z axis, so 0, 0, 1, with a length of 3, and points up at 35. This will be the basic string setup. Now we want the top of the chains to stick, so make a group with the type to points and name it pin. and make the base group just the zero point. Then do a copy to points. And the last thing before we start setting the sim up is to make a resample node. So that way all the points are evenly spaced out since we'll be using this to make chain links, which we want to be even. So make a vellum constraints node and change the type to hair. Now change the mass to uniform, setting it at 0.2. And for the stretch stiffness, make that 10 with a dampening of 0.01. For the bend, make it 6 and well, times 10 with a dampening of 0.05. Now to pin the top, we're going to make another vellum constraint with the type at pin to target and hook these two nodes up. Change the group type to pin and the group to our pin group. And down here check on match animation. Now make two nulls attached at the bottom. The first one we're going to name geo for the geometry and the second we're going to name con for the constraints. Now make a dop net and dive inside. So we're going to use a vellum object, a vellum source, and a vellum solver. Wiring those three nodes up like this and then add in some gravity at the end. In the source node, you're gonna to wanna to find our geo in the SOP level and also our constraints. I'll just add in a little bit of wind using pop wind with uh, just a bit of noise so that we have some variety. And hit play, let that load. And we've got, got a good solid sim. Now, in my example, I had a collider, so I'm just gonna hop out 
and make a sphere with a radius of 0.6, 1, and 3.2. And just going to bring it up 2.5 in the Y. And then do another null, and I'm going to name it Collide in all caps. Hop back in the sim and make a static object. Grab that Collide and merge it in to our sim using Shift R to make sure it's on the left side. And now hop back out and you can see we've got that going. Pretty cool. And just make sure to, to grab the vellum object and put it here in the top net. That way we're not merging out the collider object as well. So drop in attribute delete to kill the p scale attribute. Since we don't want that affecting our chain links. Now we're going to make those. I'll do a circle set to polygon. Open arc and the divisions at four. I'm just gonna do a transform node and rotate it 45 in the Z. And then one more transform node with the X scale at 0.6. Now do a resample, setting it to about 0.6 and make sure that resample poly edge is on so that we keep our corners. Now we're going to drop a fuse node since during the resample the ends actually get disconnected. And then we're going to do another resample to smooth things out. This one we're going to set treats polys as subdivision curves so that way it's a little bit smoother. Then do another fuse and last a poly wire setting it around 0.2. So, and this is starting to look, this looks a bit like a chain link. So we're just going to do another transform, rotating it 90 degrees in the X so that it's facing along the Z axis before we copy it. And we're going to scale it down to 0.1. So just drop a pack node to make things a little faster to work with and a copy to points. And we're almost there, but you know, this kind of looks like a zipper. All the chain links are just facing the same direction. We're like what we actually want is every other point to be rotated 90 degrees. So you could do this with some sort of transform matrices, but an easy way to do this is in the copy to points node, check on this piece attribute. This will use a point attribute and copy on different geometries. So copy the variance attribute name here, then make a point bop before the copy to points and dive inside. We'll use a modulo set to two, hooking that up to the PT num, and that way we're grabbing every other point and with the modulo we'll get every other point will be zero and one and zero and one and so on. Bind export that and we're gonna paste that variant name here and you can see every other point actually disappears when you do this that's because now it's looking for this variant and trying to copy on a second piece of geo onto every other one but we only have one piece of geo merged into the copy so to fix that we're going to make a second piece of geo so just copy this pack and merge the two together and you can see that we have our geo back still looking zipper like so before the pack, we're going to make a transform and rotate it 90 degrees in the Z axis. And you can see now we've got our chain. Every other point is rotated 90 degrees. And there you have it. It's a cool chain setup. Like always take the time to mess around with the vellum values that I was throwing out there just to, to see what each one does. I was just giving you the values that worked for my purposes. It's also worth noting you could definitely do a sort of chain setup using rigid bodies if you really wanted uh, heavy collisions and like to have the the geo like be real precise when it hits objects but you know unless you're right up on something and this hair setup is just like a nice easy way to get nice looking quick results. So as always the project files are on this site. Hope you enjoyed this one. 
and until next time.